Hello everybody, I am Bratman19 and welcome to episode 2 of our Let's Learn of France in Europa Universalis 4. So last time we fought England and we got Bordeaux and Laborde as well as Pale up here done. Um, and the uh, Burgundian uh, secession event happened. So Austria got all this stuff in the Low Countries and we've got just a few things up here like Picardy, Artois... Uh, Rathel. Uh, did we have champagne before? I think we did. And then we had a few things over here. So Burgundy is no more. But Austria got a lot of what we wanted to, so... To be on the lookout for that. Um... We also were working on Pale's core. So, uh... That's our main focus. Let's see here. I'm gonna eventually... I'm gonna vassalize... Even though I want to vassalize Brittany a lot more... I'm will uh I'm gonna work on uh getting Leinster. Can I offer vassalization? Now we're at negative one thirty two. Distance between borders is now twenty five. Okay. Eventually that can work as I gain all of Ireland here. Okay. Yeah, I was very excited about how that went. And England's still fighting their civil war, their civil war with the pretenders. If I'm lucky, that'll last until when does our truth truce expire? 1459, so nine more years. If it can last that long, I doubt it will, but if it could and I own some of this, I can then attack here. And just start pushing down across all this, which, you know, by then I'll have such good friends with like Castile and others that they can help me stop anything attacking me here. The biggest thing is we'll go after all of this. All right, Linster, let's see. I'm going to offer you an alliance first. Perfect. Um,. You know, I probably should have done Diplomatic first. They actually don't desire anything right now. Why won't it sh you know, show me all this stuff? Okay, yeah, they do desire stuff. They desire these two spots. They desire those three. They desire that. They desire all that. Okay. It's okay. I'd rather work with Linster anyway, just because they've got a good chance of actually taking what they want. Um, sickness of king, more power to the nobles, delegate, the gifted, yeah, there we go. Yearly prestige, plus 0.5. Alright, next we're going to dynastic royal marriage. What we'll do is we'll just split Ireland between us, then I'll annex them. I really want Ulster first. Let me go ahead and do a covert build spy network on Ulster, who is allied with Clonricard, England, Leinster, and Desmond. Okay. That's fine. England's obviously having a hard time, so I'm not super worried. If I, if I, well, I can't say if I'm going to ask him if I declare a war now, what would happen? Can invest in oh Diplotech. Do it. And now build marketplaces. Is there anywhere I'd like to build one? Anything over a two, I think. So seven point three and seven point one. Let's do it right there. Six point nine, then a three point two in Paris. Okay. 
All right, not bad. Not a bad start. Now would be a great time to go to war with England. Okay, hold on. Uh, England's opinion of France goes up by plus 20. Diplomatic power... 60, or I can gain 2 mercantilism. Uh, okay, we'll just do that. Um... That's fine. Let's do that. Okay, I can gain money for it. The bourgeoisie is uh, disloyal, but they'll get over themselves before long. Pale is almost a core. They're the Miethian separatist. What is my uh, current limit? Oh, I'm at 44. Yay, I can do this now. Um, oh, I don't have provinces I can build in just yet. Not here, at least. All right. The Renaissance has appeared. Changes everything. Okay, we're building up on this guy. Pike Square, yes. No tech penalty yet. Oh wow, the Renaissance starts up pretty much everywhere, it looks like. Who started it over here? Venice, ah. I wonder if that's because Venice is like a trade league, so anything that's like on a trade node gets good. You know, gets it turned over real well. Oh well, won't take us too long, I hope. Come on, let's go ahead and get pale. It's just taking a little bit too long. I'll gain a core on you. Who are you friends with? Royal married with England. Allied with Scotland, okay. I mean, attacking someone like this could be good for us anyway though, because getting Scotland out of this stuff early would be nice. Are they done with the rebels? No, I think they're holding on here. Yep. Come on, a little bit more. It's at 87%. It's just taking so long. Okay. Eventual unrest is starting to go down though. Overextensions, it, giving it 0.5. And separatism, the rest. Yeah, this area down here has zero worries with that. Uh, marketplace for anything else. Yes, Paris was the one. Naples, okay. Now I'd love to attack Aragon and wrestle Naples from him. That'd be kind of cool. Ninety-seven. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. Orleon. Or Orléans is now the seat of a new cardinal. There you go. Pale is finally brought into the fold. One, two, three. There we go. That brings us up to 20. Don't think I can go to 22 yet. No, I can't. It's perfectly fine.
Fabricate claim on all day. Let's get rid of that. Let's see here. Um, Maintain that diplomat. It's at 184. You gotta be kidding me. I proclaim you a guarantee. Yeah, there we go. Then we'll wait until 22nd of May. Offer you vassalization. Oh, great. No, we're not going to do that. Um, build spy network. Now this guy here. Let's take these guys off uh, Brittany for a second. If I declare war. Yeah, Scotland would come in. If I declare war over here, Ulster. Ooh, hold on. Lose money, I could gain or I could gain ten prestige by supporting the House of York. Let's support the House of York. I'll take that. Um Declaring War Oh my gosh, that's perfect. What are you building right now? A cog? Okay, well that's not great, but still. I could declare like I could declare war here, take Desmond and Ulster in the same time here. Declare war. Confirm. Go ahead and grab I'll go ahead and fight Ulster real quick so they don't attack us in the back. If he stays right here, he should be just fine. See, Ulster won't have a friend. I did that without a leader. Ooh, that wasn't smart. I'll let you go do that. How about that? You work on that. Give me my... Yeah, give me the siege leader. Boom, there you go. Come on, let's go ahead and make it work. Now, what he's a fort level level one, which means I think I need four, right? I'm gonna mess this up and I know it, so. go yep that's fine and we'll end up granting this to uh, Leinster and they'll give that to me so I can peace out Ulster Peace out, Linster, and we'll be good. A military leader has left us. That'd be the other guy. Okay. Thank you for not being Jean Barreau. I like his siege ability. Oh, they've already got a siege a wall break there. Savoy's opinion goes by, by plus 50. Our minus 50. I, I take the plus 50. I don't have any real ill will towards them right now. There they go. Already got that. Let's tell... Well, we'll wait. Let Ulster wait it out for a second. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're 100% sieged. I mean, they're not going to do anything. Come on, let's take it. Okay, Ulster. You're going to do that. Give me all your money. Okay, let's wait just a second. Here we go, next one. Oh, whoops. Desmond. Um. Now this one's going to be yours. How do I turn it over? Oh, there we go. Transferring control over. There we go. That's something to work for right there. See? And now we've got a pretty nice, you know, province added to us. Let's take that leader off. When they're sitting in camp, they have a, like a, I, I swear, I think they have a slightly higher chance to die. And we don't want that to happen, of course. Now then, here for offering vassalization. Military power is at negative two compared. Scott, uh, Scottish government ranks negative ten. French economic base is negative eighty-four. Yeah, we got that eighty-four is hurting. Okay, plus four to not. Okay, let's go ahead and add one here. Um, let's drop national unrest. Sounds like a smart thing to do. We gotta get level four here quick. Uh, national decisions, missionary strength, institution spread. You know, we can take that. He has no allies. We have Lannister coming on our side. Might as well before Scotland or somebody gets the idea to make him a friend. Not to mention it puts us right here next to Sligeach. Maybe Kildara is friends with them? I don't know. break off this guy. It's okay, come on. Okay, there he goes. And normally I wouldn't fool with Ireland like at all, but I just feel like this time I need to. That stopped England from getting closer to working on stuff over in the New World. You know, that's just all to my benefit. Uh, da, 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 lose a 10 prestige. Not going to lose stability. We have Miethen and Austrian Separatist. Still working on a core here. It's only a third of the way done. 
I'm trying to look for a reason to have to keep this army up here until I'm ready to march off over here. They've got 22 here. Alright, time for a new Diplo advisor, diplomatic relation. Yeah. Nice, there we go. Oh, and that's got a wall breach. Come on, let's finish it off. We're still gaining our manpower. There's another one. We're gonna fall behind an admin, I know, but eh. There we go. Come on. Let's merge them up. Sligo, you are friends with nobody. Wow. We've been excommunicated. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just do this and we'll fight it off. Okay. Yeah, we've been excommunicated. I guess that's for doing what we've been doing to Ireland up here. I don't think we have aggressive expansion or anything, though. Do we? Yeah, we're just fine on that level. England has some, of course, but that's it. And these Irish guys... The nation of Castile, your faithful allies requesting that you come to their aid in the Castilian conquest of Zaragoza against Aragon and Naples. This is where they have started. Yes. Perfectly a fine enough reason to go to war down here for me. Oh, and England has become the papal controller. Wow. Thomond and Kildare. Nope, no cast of spelly there. Declare war here. Scotland and Thomond would come in, but I don't want to get Scotland involved. Okay. Yeah, we're coming to give you a hand here, Castile. Be nice if you helped. Oh, they're going to go march after Naples, it looks like. Let's go ahead and take this. What level are they at? 443, and we're at 344. We'll take this stuff, and we'll make sure that they have an easier time of it. Actually, I might not even worry about Aragon at all later on. I think I like going in this direction. <laughs> I like doing this stuff up here and then coloniz colonizing from there. We might mess with some of this, though. Okay, that's now dip 28. Just keep, fall keep, make uh, keep making that one fall. We want to get a lot of participation in this war. Hungary, eh, you're not really at war with anybody I care about. Um, let me look at one thing real quick. Institutions. Paris is at 17, 11, 3 point, yeah, so it's going to take a while. 
I mean, Venice is now done, which gives these guys a little bit. So any, these guys in here are probably going to get it quick. Yeah, even London's going to take a while. Good, good, good. We want London to take a long time. Okay, come on, bite it down. Aragon's got 41,000 troops, we have 59, but of course a lot of our, my troops are tied up north. Ooh, there's Brittany. That's okay. Yep, the Papal State's been getting uh, one of the forts knocked out, so that's good. Let's see, Valencia is their capital, so we need to keep pushing down to here. Austrian Separatists are at 60%. Ulster's now a province, though. Okay. Maybe that'll help? I don't know. War exhaustion is contributing, too. Come on, Jean. Jean... Jean Bureau, let's hurry up and let's win this one real quick so we can push on. Uh, let's accept. I don't want to have to worry about any kind of problems here. Oh yeah, let's do that because I've completely forgotten to do it till now. Yeah, you're using that to your advantage to blockade and stop some of our rolls. Look at Castile just running over this stuff, though. There we go. Finally, that's over. Let's start moving. Our queen just died. We still have Louis de Valois. Let's go ahead and start pushing down. Let's keep going. Uh, we'll lose five prestige first. Possible secession where the ruler of England has died without leaving a direct heir. They will join up in a union with Portugal unless we correct contest it. If we contest it, it will create a secession war over England. We can go to war. Go to war with Portugal. Who are we fight? We're fighting Portugal and England. Okay. Let's let's hurry up and turn this war in the fa in favor. There we go. Perfect. There. Well, somebody got knocked out. Brittany. Okay. We're okay. We'll just wait it out for now. We can be at war for a long time. Portugal is the main person in that war, too. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, guys, we are in a very... We're in a good predicament. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. And are they marching men? They are marching men. Um... We're in a weird predicament still. Well, this is not something I normally find myself in. But we're at war. We're in two different wars. With one with Aragon and Spain and Castile and all that doing what you know they're supposed to be doing, obviously. And another one with Portugal and England. Now the one with Portugal and England means more to me anyway. Because let's face it, that's the way I'm going to get you know a personal union over England if that's possible. I'm not sure if that's how it works or not, but we're gonna find out. So, uh, all right, guys, I'm going to have to end it right here, though. I appreciate you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out Discord, and I will see you all next time.